in this house. Living in sweet harmony with the Sardi Sisters. Country CKBW, you're listening to House for Sale by Exit 13. You know, driving through Nova Scotia, you'd almost expect to hear Celtic music on the radio. But bluegrass music has roots that run deep here, too. In fact, that's why we're here, to meet that very bluegrass band, Exit 13. As soon as uh, we find Exit 13, the exit, that is, which will take us to the band, Exit 13. Hey! Ah, here we are, exit 13. Please don't sell my house. It's the only thing that I have left. I'm a ghost in this house. There's no memories that I can't take with. These walls are the boundaries. The only way I can exist. This is Exit 13. You're right. How are you? Not too bad. I'm Nadine Sardi Sardi. Sardi Sardi. I'm oh, married to Sardi. No, <laughs> no relation. And you play stand-up yeah, bass. I'm Kimberly, Hi, Kimberly. And I sing lead and high tenor. All right, high tenor. Hi, I'm Elaine. Hello, Elaine. I'm the songwriter of the band, and I play the banjo and the dobro. Indeed you do. And how are you? This is the extended family. I went Bob Morris, guitars. Hi, Bob. Jude Pelly, guitar, Pelly. And and guitar and mandolin. Uh, guitar and mandolin. Well, that's excellent. At exit 13. So I got off at the right place. You got off in the right place. Oh, that's so right. Glad. Who's the. You did uh, good. Who would, who would be group leader? Is there, when you've got three sisters, what happens? Uh oh, our arms are going to raise all at one time. <laughs> 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 we all have a job to do, and I think that at one point we're all a leader. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, how did all this start? I think that was Dad's fault. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, Dad started in a band, uh, I'd say about 25 years ago. Uh, we're celebrating our 25th year this year, actually, in bluegrass music of uh, the Three Sisters. Why do things look so different this morning? Did they change or did I wake up? If you've been at this for 25 years, what were you, babes in arms? When you started? Yeah. I was nine years old. <laughs> <laughs> I was seven. And you were real young. Yeah, five. it's really young. And five. And five. But it was fun. It was really fun. Dad played in a family bluegrass band of his own called the County Line Bluegrass Boys. And from there, it just kind of spilled. We had no choice. He drug us wherever he went. <laughs> you know, if they played in somebody's backyard, we sat in the backyard and listened to him play until they got done and we went home. I used to dream of The other sister, Zena, she was the fourth member. There were four four sisters at one point. She she doesn't play anymore. No, she got an excellent job opportunity, and she couldn't pass it up. It's not so bad there, but. So in the beginning, you and your dad called yourselves what? South Shore Bluegrass. South Shore Bluegrass. And we played until. I think it was so. I couldn't play no more. The Sardi sisters were not only musically driven by their father, Gordon was also the band's designated bus driver. More than a dime to turn it on, that's for sure. Yeah, but he can drive, I tell you. About the same time the Sardis changed the name of their band to Exit 13, Dad decided to retire from the stage. The finger's a step, and I'd rather listen. Remember when we went to a bluegrass festival over in Squaw Mountain in the United States and Nadine slept about 2,200 miles of that. <laughs> the real driving force in the Sarty family was always their mother, oh, Dolores. Those were good times, but yes. since then, you know, girls, you've come a long way, you've graduated. And... No matter how small the show or how far away it was, Dolores was always in the audience for her daughters. 
And even when she was diagnosed with cancer and feeling sick, she never missed a performance. Sadly, Dolores Sarti lost her long and painful battle with cancer days after our visit. Tell me why does it go so good? What a great message. Yeah, that's a nice Very song. Very well done. Very well, well sung. Thank you. Well man. written, well played. Who wrote, did you write that? I wrote that song. How did you become the songwriter of the group? I guess I'm the most miserable person, <laughs> I think. No, that's what they always say. You must be pretty miserable because you're writing it on paper. But that's not really how I feel. I, I don't know. I just, I just think of things. I can express myself better on paper. And then finally, when I give it to the rest of them, they, they say, hey, that sounds good. What is this song that you have that is the CN? Uh, Courtesy of CN. Courtesy of CN. Tell me about the tune. The song is primarily about the tracks being torn up down here on the South Shore of Nova Scotia. What happened to the man that used to wave to me every afternoon? Did he leave with train motors and pass by my house anymore? Did they grow old and worn out and be placed by you? Wow, do you sing? Oh. I mean, do you, oh, you all sing, but boy, do you. She sings you're just about, you, you picked me up off my seat. You don't have to tell us. Yeah. <laughs> it's tight, and we're, we're sisters, it seems oh, to be yeah, even even tighter. Better, I mean, it's a better blend. When you first heard, courtesy of CN Rail. We hated what, it. What did you think, did you? Well, yeah, sort of. <laughs> kind of curl my nose up and ooh, walk away. It was, it was different. Harmony. When the harmony got on the course, then it wouldn't stop going through my Then head. they wouldn't stop singing it. They mm. wanted to sing it all the time. Well, the harmony is the magic. So much yeah. of the magic in That's bluegrass. That's bluegrass music. Yeah. Did you ever hear, uh, well, I'm sure you have, uh, Will the Circle Be Unbroken? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. If we just did maybe just the chorus. Will the circle be unbroken? Thank you for that. Oh, isn't that nice. nice? Oh, I'd love to hear those voices. So, you've got one ECMA, one yeah, East Coast two. music, or two. And the winner is... Exit 13. And you'd like a third? I'd like a third, You, yeah. you wouldn't say no to it? No, no, not at all. Is there one in the works? Is there a song that's going to win you one? Yes. What song Definitely. is it? Uh, the latest one that she's written, The Barn. The Barn. Yeah. Daddy used to talk about the farm and how he made his living in the field. So this song, The Burn, could very yeah. well be the song. song. Could, but don't let it know. <laughs> the dream. What's next? We want to be able to continue playing bluegrass, and it's not going to die. So as long as she's pumping them out like she is, then, then I'm just, I'm, I'm more than glad to sing her songs. Tell me why. 